are covered, my body is strong. I don't know what work you did in the heart of the patriarchs. I don't know what you whipped into the heart and made their soul rocket. I make a demand to the work in me. I submit myself under the under your mighty hand and I say begin to manipulate begin to manipulate begin to configure make my heart rugged make my heart tough make me a man of strong resolve our fathers were known for not giving up how come have we come to become weaklings? Abatena manta buka sahila, bembe sahila, vita makata mata 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 papua. Sefala deka skapadi, efatina atelo atima kuraita. Ipa bo sahila, bepa bepa pata pata ni, zembra kata ilata, afaganta skapila taka kato me na papula. Zila ita frokoto no to kato mata nata, ita hilo. Ita fata, ita talati, ita papa nata bona tapa nata kata kata tali. Fana he, efe eke uda dai. Isa sabroko sahila, eja na poa sashi. Rapa panka pata ni, ya poswa tapa liya. E papa le la pala nata karadi. Ifa kavata na yo, efrente di sata. Aba kwa kaha kaha tu, kaha tu, kaha tu, kaha tu. Abe ne ma 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 ma. Our fathers were known the book of Hebrews chapter 11 I think verse 11 said some of these men they died they died without sin the very reason why they committed their life in faith Make sure you are praying. Make me a man of strong resolve. A man of strong conviction. A man of strong resolve. A man of strong conviction. A man of strong resolve. A man of strong conviction. A man unbending, undying, not giving up, not backing out. Sipana Tailo, Ore Te Udamba Yayo. Asa Atama, Ayele, Ayele Bo, Ayele Ukanke, Ayele Bo, Brede, Ayala. Satana Tai. I'm free, Ayele, I'm free, Ayele. Ayele, 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 Ashiele ola mamu ananai Aye kukode ya aye kukode Brende brende ne Aye Aye roko kusya li mama Li mama arena na Aye Vekele bero de koske brete Frele bele te mombro koske Frete le kwe se say Fred, <laughs> <laughs> 
Like that, we have to ask scriptures so as to foster our body, so as to strengthen our, our drive, so as to fuel our journey in prayer. I go go learn to cura and say, Libo, Sebina, eight and broke off and falile from Gua, Etikinia in Toko, Mumailo, follow, 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 or Dino, I love what tell him, Mamma, come, go and say, Sally, can go. Silo, 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 wana, or wana, wula, na ilole. Amu ye fe ilo, amu ye fe umbra, tami yo, tami yo, mi yo, mi yo, kana. Eji le 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 le, eji mangro se si bu ambai. Ai le le le, ai le le, mambo. Acts chapter 14, verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exalting them to continue in faith that we must do me we must do tribulation enter into the kingdom. What what faith were indulging them to continue? Was it their ability to receive things? It was explained here. It is a faith that must be prepared for tribulation because it's part of the journey. I told you, faith is deeper than the ability to receive. In certain contexts, faith is your ability to be dogged. The ability to be dogged that your resolve is strong. Even in the face of tribulation, even in the face of persecution, even in the face of opposition, that your heart is strong. He said, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them, indulging them. Listen to them always. Keep warning them that through faith, faith is the way. This faith we are talking about is not the ability to ask, it's the ability to stay convicted, rooted in conviction. Say that through tribulation, we must. He didn't say we may, he said must. That's the of the joy. So before the tribulation begins to come for us, we must begin to ask that God give us the ability to stay strong. 
choose in rather by faith oh, by faith oh, choose in rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of Egypt for a season. I want to be that kind of man that if follow you will be in suffering. I want to stay. We standing on your way, men being in the affliction. I want to stay, strengthen my resolve, strengthen my conviction, make me talk. Patalila Tatalas, if a fire, if a fatalita paru catalita pasalua, I am I am a I supposed to be question and answers but your body in the mouth is strong the body is strong the bible said sometimes when i see scriptures like this i wonder what 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 are peter's preaching in our day we have come to the point where the gospel have been made to look like a pathway to pleasure and fall as if following god is tantamount to enjoy all of life goodies but, but when the apostles spoke about what the true gospel was they emphasized that tribulation is part of the journey persecution is part of the journey paul said until this time we are buffeted on one side we both hunger and test after a certain place of dwelling sometimes you need to get things of our studies life see how how battered that man was battered, beaten, was casted into an open sea. He had shipwreck of all kinds. The time came when they said they stoned him to death. Whether he died, we don't know, but we knew what we know that was that he rose up. They stoned him and he was supposed to die. Whether he died or not, we don't know. But they left him to die. Bible said the disciples came and they gathered him and he rose up back. The next day, Bible said he was on he was on journey again preaching the gospel. Do you know what it means to stone a man to death? No. Do you know what it means to stone a man to death? They didn't say they beat him. Have you seen where they beat the thief? You've seen where they beat the thief. This place swear. This place swear. Last week, back up. But they stone a man, stone to death. Part of his face must have broken like this. Torn. And Bible said the next day, Paul was in another city preaching the gospel with bruises being battered he didn't even take a day break to, to think about his life Abba, how did this man become like this what did you do in the heart what did you work in the heart that their conviction was so strong today they all live short at you because you preach the gospel you you can't feel you can't be said my man tired ah we joke Somebody was talking to me some two days ago and I was trying to make excuse for this generation and now we can't, how this generation cannot take all of this strong correction that is coming. And he said, people are dealing with psychological issues that if you want to correct them, you have to be. I said, ah, I said, we can't tell you. Because you bring a gospel and people accept. Don't Because the level of acceptance is very low you gave you and some people of social media you know why because of attack they say my mental health my mental health okay what was Paul going through how did he manage it how did he not stop what he was doing how did he not hate those these are my question how did he not hate they stoned the man to death the next day was on the road again do the same thing for the way for which he was told. Abba, 
I need God to do something to my heart. I need my convictions to be strong. Brothers, listen to me. The message you are giving to our generation is a message, is a message that our generation will not accept. Scripture told us what this generation looks like. He said they shall eat unto themselves, teach us that teach after their own lust. They have been eating years. By default, they won't accept our gospel. And they will rebook us. They will, they, will, they will oppose us. They will kick against us. Only men to get conviction. Only men of can pass. Only men of strong men that are highly opinionated and I'm bound to the opinion of the one who is in there. That the only thing that comes from is the message that God planned on their lips. Only back to one master. They are announced only to one throne that sits far above creation. They don't listen to men. They listen only to these Such a man of conviction. Such a man of strong conviction. The Bible spoke about the Bible said, This was a very accountable perdition. Without they never of me. And never draw back on perdition. He said, These are those that have drawn back on John. These are those. Are which is to say, the one time I had a, a somewhat a semblance of, of conviction, or something happened along the line, and their conviction was bought, and their conviction was altered, and their conviction was thwarted. Make my conviction strong. Can we pray for one more minute before we sit? Make my conviction strong. Make my conviction strong. Like Paul the Apostle, make my conviction strong. If I see seven hundred and off, when I turn as if I turn a cavolida, it did not do to do to patata tita papa tata doa, tita tuta tita tuta tita tata doa, doa 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 tuta 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 kabo sembra tina e pasiva fata nakaba. The word confirming the book of Acts chapter 14, verse 22. It said confirming the soul of disciples. It is called strengthening. The word means to strengthen them, to make them add, make the disciples add. How can you make the soul of a man hard? But I keep telling you about the fact that conviction is necessary. And our part is a part that is destined to be strong. Confirming, strengthening the souls of the disciples and exalting them. Ah! Anamun Kabula, Anamun Kaparis, a protocol, Kukala Masia, Vahanke, confirming, confirming the souls of the disciples and exalting them that they remain in faith. For we must through tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. Ayele mo kwe tele la ilo fatinda abu mama. Jile lo tanza tanza munde la ilo mbanga mbanga mbanda mbanda. Adi andi bini andi didi didi na ilo didi 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 vandro kusele tibu la ilo. Ejembro kundo la ilo abamboa saite saite. Saite mo lo 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 le mo kong kong si di tai la bambu ngadeng do do ya. Fata mukala. Ebrete guse pepe mpamande balana manski la. Gali ma 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 ma. Gali ma 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 ma. Oh. Ayu 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 ayu. Ayelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
Not so for this time. We are different. <laughs> I don't want to say something that, that makes it look like I'm feeling somewhat better than some persons. We are part what what but after we are a different clan, a different type, different kind of liver. Not the general one, we have a different stock. But not the ones that are found in common. We are strange, very strange. Let everybody like, let me know. If it's the other of God going south, let us do some mock, let's call us weird sound. You cannot believe us, we are raising, they are not the ones that are common. They are not found in, they are not found everywhere. They are men of God. Dangerous and strong resolve, a different breed entirely. We are not, we are not mixed breed. We've seen believers that are mixed breed here and there. Apostle Narame calls it spiritual amphibia. They can live on land and on water at the same time. They can they can live on two different habitats and they, they and they, they master how to sustain it. They can survive in water, survive on land, they cohabit with light and darkness. We are no, no a, a, a different kind, a different beat. If perhaps you are joining for the first time, this is Adula, where weaklings become strong. I'm trying to bring my, myself into the state of the question and answer. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying. I'm trying. Help me. You can take down your phone a little. And Lord and our God, we ask that as we enter this question and answer, grant wisdom and intelligence to undo the scriptures and make every doubt be cleared. In Jesus' name, amen. Our time is fast spent. The prayers already took most of I I feel like we should stay on this prayer even tomorrow. No, I'm good. Don't, 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 you don't need to bring your chair for me. I think we should stay on this prayer even tomorrow. Do you guys think so? I think so. Okay. Because the the the, the faith teaching is supposed to end today. Can you hear me clearly? The faith teaching is supposed to end today. Um. So. I'm. I'm thinking. I still feel like we should stay on this prayer, even if tomorrow a different teaching is supposed to begin. Uh, what's the teaching for tomorrow? Uh, okay. Ah, are you serious? Wow. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll begin a, a series tomorrow. The series we're going to be beginning tomorrow is called Descent. Funny enough, I didn't know, I didn't know that in my notepad, the arrangement and the next series of teaching is the sent one. Funny enough, I didn't know. Today, while I was meditating, the Lord kept saying to me, the sent one, the sent one. And I knew he wanted me to teach on it. And he, I, while I was inside, he said something to me. 
he called he said something that he, he used a, a, a choice of word that i'm familiar with he called it the saint mentality if you can pray our way through we can we'll pray our way through and then we'll land in the teaching and if we cannot pray our way through to land in the teaching we'll just pray all through tomorrow okay so, but the teaching continues tomorrow the next series for tomorrow is called the saint one don't give me volume the mic is fine it's okay i'm the one not talking loud it's fine but can you hear me okay the saint one or the saint mentality that one is a, is a more dog i i like the way we began like this we began like this we began from the basic notes from the basic one basic it it, 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 it journey is becoming tougher some people thought okay let's leave it first i think i have just i have few questions here few questions um i didn't get any question for many of you here you have a question okay all of you none of you wrote question is that you people understand it's only unlike people that don't understand you can please put down your question Osha, please help me move around get yeah, yeah. get the questions from them please you have a question okay you guys should have submitted your question since it came now since since morning okay i said i was going to start questions in the comment section because i'm um, in the book of Bishop 11 verses 4 by faith abel offered unto god a more excellent sacrifice than king by which he obtained witness that he was righteous god testifying of his gifts by it he being dead yet he speak it are you with me still with me you you all of you are the question are you are late but right but don't be distracted he said what the bible mean that by faith abel offered unto god a more excellent sacrifice than king huh? it's a very tactical question while i was preparing my notes for this you can hear me clearly when i while i was preparing my notes for this series let me check with the guys online please and let's know if they are hearing me clearly while I was preparing my notes for this series, um, I intentionally skipped this scripture. Personally. But the person brought it back to me in the, in the comment section, and the person asked, what did the Bible mean when the Bible said, by faith, Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice? What it basically means is that Abraham had come to the point where um, I don't know how he got to that point but he esteemed god in his heart better than his brother hmm? what what god rejected was not the offering of king are you with me please stay what god rejected was not the offering of king what god rejected was the person of king it's in scriptures do we need to go there we should go there it was because if I if we begin to do scripture for scripture now, we won't be able to answer all of this question. Ah, this is a So the questions can come. So maybe I just glance through them. I see if I can see if I can answer all at to today, or I just take a few. Okay. Genesis Genesis, Genesis chapter four, verses four. Okay, let's start from verses 3. Okay, verses 2. Genesis chapter 4, verses 2. And she again bare his brother, Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep 
But, but Cain was a tiller of ground, which is to say, Abel was a, fa was a shepherd man or boy, any way you like to call it, while Cain was a farmer. Okay? So they brought gifts, they brought sacrifices unto God. Okay. They brought sacrifices unto God from the things they do. So verse 3 says, In the process of time, it came to pass that it brought of the first fruit of the ground and offering unto God. The problem is that when we went to the past, those days, they taught us that when Cain wanted to bring his own sacrifice to God, he brought farm fruits and all those things that instead of eating, they told us that he brought bad, bad things that he separated good yam and bad yam. What's the problem? This one is dead again. Talk. That's not my own work. It's your work. He brought good. They say they say he gathered good yam, bad yam. So now separated bad yam for good. I gave God bad. bad yam. Are you with me now? But have you also read your Bible to see that that that's not what happened? In the book of Genesis chapter four, verse three. No, no, no. Just sorry. Who would you find for come up? No problem. In the book of Genesis chapter four, verse three. In the prophet came to pass that Cain brought of first fruit of ground and the one to go. So say if it starts was to be measured by the quality, the fiscal quality of the sacrifice, Cain's sacrifice would have passed. Because the sacrifice that Cain brought God, what we call first fruit of his of his farm that he gave God the number one me. You guys understand what I'm saying? You get God what? Number one. First fruit. So, let's say he planted cassava or he planted corn. The first set of corn he harvested was a God. Eh? Let's say he planted I don't know anything that he planted. Anything he planted, he gave God assets. Which to say, he gave God good things actually. The quality of the sacrifice is not what measures. Are you with me? The quality of Cain's sacrifice in nature was not is not the measure to determine whether or not Cain's sacrifice would be accepted. But measuring the natural, Cain's sacrifice passed as a good sacrifice. The quality of the sacrifice in nature was good because in the Bible he said, in the, he said. And Cain brought of the first fruit of the ground, which is to say the first set of far, the first set of fruits that germinated was what he gathered and brought to God. We are going somewhere. And Abel brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. Now, in Abel's case also, he did what? He brought the firstlings. The quality of Abel's sacrifice relative to Cain's sacrifice are the same. So the quality of their sacrifice was not what determined whether or not their sacrifice would be accepted. What determined whether or not their sacrifice would be accepted is their person. Hmm? The same way God esteems your sacrifice in, in church. God has esteems your sacrifice to him relative to your person. You understand what I'm saying? That's why Jesus said, if you want to give, and then you have a brother at, at keep your offering, go and make peace with the brother, then come back and give. Because your sacrifice is as good or as bad as your person. Are you with me? So Cain's sacrifice, the Cain's sacrifice was not bad. In the natural, measuring it from physical qualities, is the physical qualities of the sacrifice were good. 
But the scripture told us what happened. But how it happened, we don't know. But the scripture told us how God perceived them. The Bible said, but, okay, verses 4, and Abel, he also brought of the firstling of his flock and of the fat thereof, and the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his sacrifice. That's seen it. The Lord had what? Respect unto who? Abel and to his sacrifice. So his sacrifice came second. What came first? His person. For Cain, the same thing. Read verses 5. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wrought, angry, and his countenance fell. We don't know what happened, why God did not accept the sacrifice of Cain. But we don't know why. But we, okay, we, we know why, but we don't know what happened. We know the reason why God did not accept the sacrifice of Cain was because his person was bad. What really happened as to why his person became bad, we don't know. But when the writer of people began to say, for every sac sacrifice was accepted by faith, I came to a conclusion. That the reason why Abel's sacrifice was accepted was because he had come to the point where he believed that the God that they spoke about is true. Perhaps Cain gave his own in doubt. Hmm? So Abel esteemed God in his heart more than Cain. Not, see, you, oh, how do I put it now? You can esteem someone Paul in your heart, but your fiscal outlook, your fiscal presentation might not really represent what your heart what your art posture looks like. Our art posture sometimes stands different from what our fiscal behavior is. Yoba must play Idoba Idoba le Oshewa. Abi, Abi. That's what Yoba will say. Ikule Oshewa. Your mom is Idoba le that Yoba is Idoba le Oshewa. Which which to say? In case you don't understand, Yoba Yoba will say in the Yoba land. In case you are here and those, I'm on. I know you are a choir boy. So in Yoba land. In case you don't know, I don't know your place. In your land, if you want to greet an elder, you prostrate. Yeah. So there's an adage of the elders that say prostrating eh, is does is not tantamount to good character. You can prostrate for me and have bad character. You can prostrate for me and hate me your heart. Which is to say, your physical your physical behavior is not really a measure of your heart posture. You understand know what I'm saying? So, because Cain brought the first fruit of his sacrifice, of first fruit of his far of his farming enterprise, does not mean his art poster was right. Hence, the reason why God kicked him away, and then he sacrificed. So, when Scripture says, and the person I'm explaining to is not Yehu, he's online, and now we are not online. Eh? I have to teach it again. Me, <laughs> Yehu. Okay, okay, okay. You are alive. Oh, it's fine. They say we are alive. How we are alive is them that know. Is it Telegram? YouTube? Okay, okay, I understand. So, stay with me. Just stay with me. God did not. This question is to the brother that asked me that what does the book of Hebrews 11 verses 4 mean when Bible said by faith, Abel offered an excellent sacrifice. The excellency of the sacrifice is not tied to the quality of the sacrifice in natural, because Cain's sacrifice also in the natural had the good quality. But the excellence of Cain's sacrifice was a poster of his art and a, and a product of, of his person. So whenever we say by faith, which is to say that Cain must have weighed the whole thing. Abel must have weighed the thing in balance. And I must have come to the conclusion that this person, this person are highly esteemed. The same way Bible spoke about what's his name? What's her name now? Sarah. The Bible said Sarah judged him faithful, which is to say Sarah put him on a weighing balance. And the conclusion of her measuring the person of God was that this person has the characteristics to be faithful, which is to say is a faithful person. The same way when we talked about Abraham, when Bible spoke about Abraham, is it clear? 
Same way when, 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 when I was teaching the Bible, when the Bible spoke about Abraham, the Bible said Abraham accounted, accounting that God can raise his son back from the dead. Which is when he drew the sheet, the accounting sheet, he, and he did his tabloid, he discovered that this person I'm in business with has the potential to raise my son back. So I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice him. So for Abel, Abel must have weighed this personality that they want to sacrifice to, and he must have esteemed him high in his heart. That is why his person was accepted and also his sacrifice. So, so are we clear now? Are yeah, clear? Okay. Let me let me check you book I know you, you, I know some of you are writing. This is peace and writing. Can we channel faith to favor? Hmm. This Bible said, "Come by hearing and hearing the word of God." You hear God clearly. Like should go to a man to favor you. <laughs> this is peace. I know. You. I know you. Well, now this is. <laughs> if God leads you to a man, say with me. So if God leads you to a man. And actually, to meet I can share my story for you. Should I, should I share some, some of my stories for you? What has led me to a man? I was doing a business some four years ago, and I needed um, invest, investors. So I was praying that God should help me, God should help me. And then one of, one of the nights, I had a dream. And a dream. There's this my secondary school meet. Is that is my friend on Facebook, even till today. So I woke up from the dream. In the dream, I mean, I was moved to meet the man to help me in the dream, and then the man helped me in the dream. You know what I'm saying? You guys are with me. I was moved to the, the I, see, I was led in the dream to meet the man to help me, and then the man helped me in the dream. Then I woke up. When I woke up, I prayed about it. And having prayed about it, I had a leading in my heart to meet him, to chat him. So you know that I'm I, I, I've always been a person of faith. I believe too much. So I went ahead, went on Facebook, good afternoon, sir. Blah blah blah. My name is so 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 and so. Um I'm a friend to your son back in secondary school, blah, 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 this, this, this. Um, I had a strong lead in my heart to reach out to you, this, this, this. When I was greeting him, he said, good afternoon, he was responding, yes, good afternoon. I'm his friend to your son. Yeah, wow, that's nice. When I said, I had a leading that's this, 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 that please, God would have me meet you to support me, this, 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 and me to this business, this business. Stop responding to me. See, today, since four years ago, Today, there is no response. Did, did, did I have a leading? I, I am sure I did. So, I'm, I'm to answer your question, can God lead you? God can lead you because He led me. I know by experience that I can lead you. But with the answer, you I don't know. And I'm not joking. Don't say because it's God that led you, they must answer you. No, hmm? sometimes in, in working with God, it is not two plus two equals to four. You cannot be too calculative because, because he used two plus two to show you four today. He might want to use two plus two to show you 18. The same thing, the same thing with which he used to educate you in one area. He can use the same thing to educate in an area. For me, perhaps he was trying to teach me to obey even when there's no result. Do you know that I grew hatred for the man in my heart? Yes, the hatred grew strong because that man is a pastor. So if, if anybody should doubt that God spoke to me, it's not that man. He's a pastor with winners. If anybody should doubt that God spoke to me, it should not be that man. And, and to not make matters worse, is 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 that is them that preach giving more. So Jethro grew. God nasty came to rebook me again. For it, I said, ah. he came. One of these I was praying, say you a bitter person. You hatred. Hatred has grown your heart. For this man, I have to say yes, yes, yes. Help me, put my heart. I do not me. I don't argue. God, if I even come, I, I say ah yes, 
Yes. I thought I said no. No, I said no. Yes, I know. Help me. Eh? So it's not every time that God leads you that you will experience favor. Eh? Are you with me? That's why I tell you that let your heart be, be strong. <laughs> let, <laughs> brother, let your heart be strong. That's what we are saying. Oko you, Are you with me? Because God led you does not mean you will get results. It's fact, I'm telling you. Because, it, oh God of heaven, we are too finished. People are picked that if God is leading you, it must turn out to, to sources. And the sources they are speaking about is measured by human parameter. Sources is not measured by accurate sources, is not measured by human parameter. Sources is measured by human parameter. You understand what I'm saying? See, somebody, hey, he might share the story of how that. They came to him. people that to him to cancel him to this territory. And I said, God led him to this territory to do ministry. If God wants to leave this territory, God will come and do what? Talk to him. Guess what they told him? They said, ah, Can you not see with your circumstance that God is talking to you? What is circumstance? Because they are bombing, they are killing people. Eh? The, their own measurement of where you are being, where God wants you to be, is safety. No. Safety is not a parameter to measure whether or not you are in God's will. You understand what I'm saying? Because if it is by safety, none of the disciples should have died. All of them died a dirty death. Yet they died according to God's will. Their death was God's will for them. So they told him that, can you not see that this place where you are is not the will of God. God have, God have moved. Apostle Amen will say the presence of Chaos is not the absence of safety. Because there's trouble does not mean you are not safe. Eh? The presence of trouble is not the absence. Eh, the presence of chaos is not the absence of safety. Because they are shooting and killing everybody. Does not mean you are, you are not safe. Everybody can die. Some people cannot die until, until it is in God's will for them to die. So I'm saying that we, we need to change our idea of what we think God leading is. Because God is leading you does not mean it's going to be rosy. I've read the scripture after Jesus was baptized. The Bible said he was led into the wilderness to be what? Tempted of the devil. Eh? You, 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 have you seen it? Should I, should, we, should, we, should, should, should I show you the Bible? Let me show you. Let me show you. So you will, when you read it, you read it by yourself, you know that it's not me that is quoting it. Matthew chapter 4, verses 1. Matthew 4, 1. Open Bible. Bible, Bible, open Bible, open Bible. Matthew 4, 1. Are you guys with me? Our time is fast spent. Matthew 4, 1. Are we there? You are there? He said, then Jesus was led up of the what? <laughs> Who led Jesus? The spirit into where? The wilderness to be tempted of the devil. God lead person face temptation or persecution. So I need to tell you that every time you expect, every time you, you say God lead you, it does not mean God is leading you and it will be rosy. It's not scripture, scripture does not, does not give us that backing. Even scripture gives us backing to tell us that sometimes God leading can be chaotic. All things are used in the Bible, all things we are made for his pleasure. If he brings satisfaction to him, he does it, not your satisfaction. All things are for his I've answered your question. He's already becoming a salmon. Uh -uh. Three question. In one, Abraham built an altar for every location he gets to. For a believer at every juncture we get to in life with God, what can be referred to an altar? What can be made reference to as an altar? Huh? You are living faith teaching, you are entering altars. 
We have where? The, in my note, there is a series for authors. The series captures author courses and spell. In case you are from a very strong background, you don't miss that day. Author courses and spell. Don't miss that series. If, in, in case you came from a strong background like me, I came from a strong background. You know, some of you, his mother's side is bad. Some of his father's side, me, both sides are witch. Father's side, mother's side is a combination of, of powers. <laughs> Let me know what I have to say. Powers that they have never used. <laughs> Both the one they've used that the one powers, a mixture of power. Hey, stay. Well, in this context, in this context, we can speak about altar as being a consistent level of intimacy with God. Because you've come to the point where you the way you've understand that your life has no meaning except that God speaks to you. Are we having an issue again? You understand that you've come to the point where your life has no meaning except that God speaks to you. So you have no choice but to be intimate with God so that you can always hear from Him and get leadings. For some of us, we can't run too fast. Because if when we, when we run too fast, that's when you will hear that. Oh, you, I don't know how God designed your life. See, how God designed my life that i can do something of my own will for two months three months five months and then it comes to me after five months he won't talk for five months after five months he will come and say i didn't see your last past five months uh -uh. you lived outside of my book for your life so your life has been on pause for the last five months so me i me, i can't live long too much i can't live too long outside his will the way to sustain myself is to always be in perpetual intimacy so that I can keep drawing words from him, drawing counsel, drawing direction and wisdom for my life. In this context, altar is the same thing as being in intimate relationship with God. Intimate, not church relationship, intimate. Because we are in church, but not many persons are intimate with God. Not many persons know the last time they spoke to God and God spoke back to them. Though all of us are here in church. Christianity is not a gather, gather, gather. Christianity is, first of all, a one-on-one -on -one relationship and then a relationship between God, you, and the brethren. Huh? If, what you have is, if what you have is just a relationship between the brethren, that's not Christianity. That's society. You know, club, you know, um, Rotary Club, King's Club, all those clubs, that's it. Egbe Omodua. It's just fellowship of friends. God, you, then you, God, and them. So that's the first question. Ah, is it possible to have faith outside the will of God? No. You, that thing you have is not faith, so long it does not capture the will of God. You can call it any, you, you, you can be calling it faith, too, but in the realm that matters, it's not called faith. Huh? Like I said, faith, according to the Bible, was described how it comes. That's said faith comes by what? Hearing and hearing the word of God. So you, you you don't have faith except God has given you a word. You don't have faith except, and like I explained the first day, faith necessarily must not come through the normal spiritual hearing. Sometimes it comes through vision. Sometimes it comes through quickening of that. Sometimes you might be studying scripture and then a word is speaking to you. So you you you, you should not, you, you know you should not, that even if you try to have faith, that is not faith. Because what I try to believe when God has not promised you anything? What, has, what I try to believe when God has not quickened it to your heart? So faith, are you with me? Faith is first of all quickened. Huh? A word is quickened your spirit, then you have faith about it. Sometimes you might not hear, actually. But it's just this knowing, this assurance in God. Then you begin to have faith about it. You are strong on it. God quickens it to your heart, and then you are strong on it. So you cannot have faith outside the will of god because that thing is not called faith if it is faith it comes by hearing and hearing the word of god which is today it comes by communication from god it begins after there's a communication into your spirit it could be spiritual hearing, it could be vision it could be it could be anything it could be quickening many times it's quickening even many times many times it comes with quickening there's a strong conviction you have that this 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 so you begin to buy faith call it forth you begin to buy faith call it forth so you cannot have faith outside the will of God. Huh? Next question. Can faith push one to full destiny? This is not a question. 
This is a statement of fact. Faith pushes one to fulfill destiny. Even our destiny is fulfilled by faith. In God, our destiny is fulfilled by faith. You must trust him with your, with, with your life for you to fulfill it. You must trust him because he will not do much with you except that you trust him. The, from the beginning of creation, everyone that worked with him worked on the path of trust. Everyone that worked with him and became. Everyone that worked with him and maximized their destiny. They maximized it on the path of faith. Are we clear? Okay. So you see, that's... You have a question, okay? I'm listening to talk, talk. Use the microphone. You're talking about um, fit as far as fulfilling the situation was giving someone a party blueprint to Eve, and then he he omits a major thing that goes with, not to do or to in his life. Can you used to say you still have it to fulfill your destiny. Maybe you are not two times. No, what you are talking about. But his works. I'm not teaching you works. Uh -uh. You don't understand what in his faith. What I mean by faith in in relative to predestines. Uh, um at your back. Go, go to land I will show you. I'm okay, okay. going to a land to show you is uncertainty in the realm of men. But with them, with the spirit, it's called faith. Eh? Among men, it's called is tantamount. What they call it is that you are making a journey of uncertainty. But with spirit, is a journey of trust and faith. Okay. So now, in trying to juxtapose it with what I'm saying, if God now said, "Tell someone pack your bag, go to land, I will show you," and the person chose not to pack his bag, so that person will not fulfill destiny. Because you have to trust, you have to trust God with everything that you have, with your life. Even if it does not look reasonable, carry it, go. If you say move from here, you move from here. If you say don't, you, you get what I'm saying? You don't still understand. What you are talking, I know what you are talking about. You are talking works and mercy. I'm not teaching works and mercy today. No, I'm teaching faith. All right. For Abraham, Abraham disobeyed God. Though. Not like he didn't. It took him a long time, but I, there was a window of mercy for him. The window of mercy made it possible for him to still touch his destiny, though it was late. It took about, I think, 70 years after I had left the awe of the child for him to come into destiny. Because he first of all left his father's house. No, he first of all left his country. He didn't leave his kindred. Scripture said unto Abraham, leave is a four-part instruction. Like I, I've taught it. In case you were not around the day I taught it, you should catch up online. He said, they said, leave thy father's house, thy kindred, thy country, to a land I will show you. Four instructions. So he left his country. He didn't leave his kindred. He didn't leave his father's house. He didn't go to a land that God will show him. You don't understand. When he left his country, he left with Lot. Lot is his kindred. He didn't leave his father's house because he traveled with his father. He carried his father along. Or his father carried him along. The, the last one is what? To a land I will show you. He went to a land that Aaron showed him, not the land that God showed him. Mm, Terra, sorry. A land that Terra showed him, not the land that God showed him. Terra is his father. His father led him, Lot and Sarah, to a land called Aaron. After they left the other Chaldees. And they stayed in Aaron until Terra died. It was when Terah died that God now came again to speak to Abraham and say, Live here. I said, The land I will show you, you are going to a land that your father is showing you. That was disobedience. What mercy did for him was that mercy came again and made God speak again. But he, he had wasted time, but he still fulfilled destiny. Am I contradicting many things? Who, who, is, who is this not clear to? If it's not clear to you, you can raise your hand. It's clear to everybody. Okay. Time is gone. I think I have one last question on my phone. Ah. Let me look for the question. Ah, uh, Jesus help me. 
the 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 teaching is the this this forty days teaching is entering the mode where it will start becoming sweet. Before it was being too too logical, too no from tomorrow. Uh, okay. Person said, "How do I build up my faith just as the fathers of faith?" And I told the person, "Explain better." Well, with the little understanding I have of the ways of the fathers of faith in the Word of God, it's so powerful and amazing. So sometimes I wonder, how did they get to stand so strong? When it comes to the matter that concerns God and His kingdom, so I'm really concerned too. For example, Father Abraham, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Job, etc. Like the place they stand, the oh boy, okay. like this, like the place, just like the word of, just like the word you said today, it is now. Okay, I understand this question already. Saying that how do the fathers of it got to where they got to is what is what we are teaching. That's why we are praying. That God does what He makes our heart more strong, make our resolve more strong, make us unbending, make us unshaking, make us unchanging, make us dogged, dogged ruffians. John the Baptist was a ruffian. The whole Israel was against him. He took his stand. Until when the whole Israel came to him, he didn't. Even when they came, he was not. He was not moved by the applaud. When the Pharisees and Sadducees came to be baptized, he said, "Oh, brood of vipers." What have preached to you? Even when Herod, Herod meandered, the king, oh, the king meandered to come to, to John Baptist service. He said, it's like someone who coming to this place. Eh? When, when Herod came, the first thing John the Baptist told him was, your wife of Philip is not your wife. Because Herod's brother was Philip the Tetrarch. Said the wife of Philip is not that, that, that was the first challenge. He, he, he say you are an adulterer. Ah, king, come even all not kings now. Nah. He, he that man was a ruffian. He, he had one, he had one throne that control him. Is the throne that sits above. It's only when the throne say be quiet, be quiet. When the throne say talk, he talk. Whether or not you're happy or you're not, he brings the word of the Lord. That's why we are praying that God makes our heart strong, makes our heart rugged. It's not like all of us are strong. We are born strong, but we 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 ask him to to work in us a kind of conviction, an unbending kind of conviction, rugged one. Yeah. In case I didn't get to respond to it's a very busy day, so I'll respond to the DM. Just bring up. I think that's that about that. This. Past seven or eight, and we have to close. What's the question again, India? No, boss. Have a question. We'll, all right, we'll see tomorrow. We continue the journey. So, is it doable? That question, okay? Pass the microphone. Can God allow, for, for instance, now the level of faith He gives to peace? Can it be greater than the level of faith He's given to me? James told us that our faith level is dependent on us. Have you, have you seen this in the scripture? Your faith level is dependent on you. Say, so build up your most holy faith. So, <laughs> Because if you see one person that has faith more than you, it's not so much of God's benevolence. It's that that person decided to labor to, to grow his faith. After such, after darkness like this, when you stand with random believers, they wonder from where did you get your kind of conviction? You know what? They are trying to understand that ah, all of us are chickening out. This guy is standing strong. He's saying no to this thing. Everybody is blending in and they are mixing and they are falling and they are. Everybody goes to my my recent emphasis that I've been studying you know, since. Everybody goes to three weeks. That three weeks NYC camp and they blend in. <laughs> but this guy goes and is standing alone. The reason why people are like that is because 
they committed themselves to prayer and asking God to make their resolve strong. So your faith level is dependent on you. Eh? Not just you dependent on the message you perpetually hear. That's why Acts chapter 11 verses, Acts chapter 14, I mean verses 22 said, confirming the souls of the disciples, which to say, strengthening the soul. How do you, how do you make a person's soul strong? Strengthening the souls of the, of the disciples and exhorting them in faith that they keep the faith because we must through tribulation enter so it is a product of you and the things you listen to the pressure you put on yourself you like this now after this meeting you don't know how rough you have you have, to have become you don't know how dogged your belief has become okay let's let's close let's close we'll see tomorrow for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen shalom